I don't know about you guys, but the lead up to this next update has been holding 100% of my attention. I have been so interested in it, it's ridiculous. It's like the update week leading into it here on this channel, which I am not complaining about. So as we're getting closer and closer to more info on this update, specifically on Friday it should be, we're going to be keeping most of the content here on this trend when it comes to this next update. And the main topic I wanted to get into here today is this very interesting possibility that the dev team is presenting here in recent posts, and that is all surrounding a brawler rework. Reworks in the past have brought along some of the most interesting and fun changes to the game. I'm reminded of one of the most recent ones being Surge here, making him into such a fun brawler to play. And with all of the latest rework ideas, this conversation has kind of gone into overdrive. The Brawl Stars dev team specifically asking the community for their ideas for buffs, nerfs, and changes. Changes very well could be meaning brawler reworks here in the context of this tweet. Seeing that we're in the realm of balanced changes, they very well could be looking for a brawler rework, seeing in good cases from predominant pro players in the community, much like Spen offering rework ideas for Edgar, Bull, and Vision Gear on Leon and Sandy. So it begs the question, and what I want to get into here in this video today, is what are the most likely brawlers that could be getting a rework in this update, and which ones would be the best for the game based on community, perspective, and ideas? There's a lot of very fun stuff out there. With Spen's suggestion here, not taking into account Edgar reworks here, but people really wanting something done about Bull. We have an amazing idea, and probably my favorite one here for Bull coming out of the community, by Blairy Box 56 days ago, and that is a Bull Super rework. It's an incredibly simple change, and I believe I've brought this up already in a video, and I'm sure you guys are aware of this post already. But the whole concept of the Super rework would be to add Bull's gadget into his Super, so it's a combination of the two, where instead of needing to use a gadget, what you would do is activate your super, and then if you tap the super once again, you stop in place, where you can see it in full action here with an amazing post, just in general, my goodness, this is awesome. Tap on it to stomp on the battlefield. Now you are no longer limited to three stomps per match. And then taking the old gadget's place, we have a new one called Headbutt. Next, Bull's super will slow down each enemy hit by it for two seconds. They introduce a caveat seeing that Stomper is now a included mechanic into a super, it would no longer slow them down. So the gadget would just be a way to slow them down. Not bad, you know, not bad at all. I could honestly see that slow down ability just being with a star power or something like that if they wanted to rework Bull's mechanics additionally. But we can all agree that that slow down mechanic is really, really good for Bull. Being able to close the distance and getting in really close as a shotgunner is amazing. Such a simple fix to a brawler that I think would make him function so much better here in the game, not making him feel so clunky. I think we can all remember times during our Brawl Stars career where we use a super on bull and it's just useless, almost detrimental. It's incredibly slow. It has a predetermined distance so people know exactly where you're going to land most of the time. And seeing that it's so slow, people can literally deal damage incredibly easy while you're in your super, not being able to do anything about it. It's basically a much, much worse version of a Daryl super here being slower, longer, and more clunky, harder to work with. But why don't we get into another phenomenal idea that I really enjoyed for an Edgar rework. I think we all understand now at this point that the majority of the community would identify Edgar to be the most deserving when it comes to a brawler rework or just a mechanical overhaul. But presenting here 24 days ago, we have Humble Pay 2596 proposing that instead of a self-charging super, much like we have on Daryl, that he would be given the trait that some of the tankier brawlers have in the game. The super would recharge with damage coming in, with a caveat of needing 9,000 total damage to charge up one full super. This would definitely be a substantial nerf when it comes to charging up Edgar's super in general. However, it would definitely minimize the K 
campy gameplay that Edgar now has in the game that can be very annoying at lower trophy ranges and incredibly bad at higher trophy ranges. But of course, coupled with this, he would get an overhaul to some of his existing abilities in the game, seeing that you are nerfing the supercharge rate quite substantially already. What this user is proposing is the hard landing star power would now be a baseline ability that he has with his super. On top of that, they would add an additional 10% supercharge rate with the damage that is being dealt from that baseline mechanic being added. But with this, of course, we need a brand new star power, it being called ground insurance. When Edgar does not have a supercharged, he will receive a shield that decreases all damage he takes by 20%. The shield will go away as soon as Edgar charges a super and it will reactivate again in five seconds after Edgar used his super. A pretty awesome shield there and it may sound incredibly broken on a brawler like Edgar, but with his new trait, Edgar would feel like a completely different brawler. A brawler that would be much more incentivized to play a bit more scrappy to receive damage to charge his super. Having a shield I think would be very, very good for him. Kind of like what we see on a brawler like Jackie, right? But then there'd be a rework to the second star power. When Edgar uses his super, he will instantly heal 1,500 health. I absolutely adore that super mechanic. It would reward players to use Edgar's super in other ways than just camping it out and waiting for the most optimal opportunity to jump on someone. This time, you can actually use it as an escape, which not a whole lot of people end up using. While on top of that, it gives you added insurance to jump in if you are a bit lower on HP, being a bit more scrappy with his gameplay, you can jump in knowing that you'll have that extra 1,500 health back to your character. On top of that, they would buff the hardcore gadget and they would introduce a brand new gadget taking away the self-charged super here. In my opinion, my favorite thing coming from this rework, Perry Plug. Edgar receives a shield that instantly blocks the first 1,000 damage to him. If Edgar gets hit by an enemy while this shield is active, it will charge up his super based on the amount of hit points his shield had left. So very similar to what we've seen from Surge's new gadget. I think something like this would be phenomenal for a character like Edgar if you want him to play a little bit more scrappy and not so campy. This would reward, much like we saw with the changes to Surge, getting in the face of an individual, being more scrappy so you can charge up your super and then make plays with it. Not just camping in a bush and waiting for your super. You are being rewarded for playing a bit more aggro and more scrappy and more tactical. A phenomenal rework. I absolutely adore this and I think it deserves much more praise in the community. But outside of Bull and Edgar, I've also seen a ton of people also introducing different Meg reworks here. This one brought to you by a very predominant figure in the Brawl Stars community, Carnage, the absolute legend. So the goal is to hopefully make her feel more legendary and a little more fun. One of the major arguments that a lot of people have with Meg is she doesn't feel so unique that she would be deserving of a legendary rarity. But for Carnage here, he would buff Meg's health, damage, and ammo, and then nerf the bullets per ammo to just one singular shot, so a more skill shot brawler. I completely agree here with Carnage, saying her current gadgets and star power are good, but they just don't seem to fit her well enough. So proposing two new gadgets here, Carnage introduces Rocket Thrusters for one of them. Rob's next super will be a short jump that can maneuver over obstacles. And then the second gadget, Self-Destruct. Meg self-destructs Rob, dealing 1,500 damage in a considerable area. So a self-detonation gadget. This in and of itself is way, way better that Meg already has with her star power here. Just being able to control when it self-destructs and you get that damage would be phenomenal. But then moving along to the star powers, we have high voltage here. Meg's blaster gets one extra ammo and reloads 10% faster. A very useful star power, if you ask me, making her base character a little bit more important impactful. Where right now with Meg, the main premise is just to get to your mech as fast as possible, where her base mechanics are just god awful, right? And then finally, the second star power called Power Saver. Rob does not DK health when standing still, almost like you are a bonafide turret. I thought it was pretty unique. This would be really useful in game modes like Heist if you're trying to preserve your HP, get into a stationary spot, and just in general, if you don't want to decay health, maybe you just got control over the hot zone, you can stand in place and you won't lose power. And then also on top of that, introducing a gear, tight bolts. Rob decays 20% slower. So fitting, dude. So good. I think this would honestly make
make Meg so much more fun to maneuver here in the game and feel much more deserving of that legendary rarity. A great rework idea here by Carnage. But outside of Edgar, Bo, and Meg, there have also been a ton of different Bo rework ideas here. I think very fitting with all of the shenanigans that happened as soon as the Grey Jackie comps were found. A reoccurring issue here in the meta, I think we can all agree, is this supercharged cheese that keeps popping up, dude, almost always outshined by the brawlers that are making use of the supercharge rate ability that Bo has. Almost always we think of Grey being the issue, or way back in the day, Nani being the issue, but if we go back to the source, every single time it stems from Bo's gadget, right? So interesting proposal here by Daigo Octo six days ago, introducing his rework. I think we can all agree that Bo's gadget needs a rework slash replacement, so here are three of my ideas. Number one, Forest Treat. Bo will drop a mine where he's standing, but the mine will deal 25% less damage. So instead of the supercharge rate gadget, though it would be very detrimental if they removed it from the game, he just drops a singular mine. A secondary option here, number two, Super Breeze. Bo will get a small radius around him where teammates who stand near it, when he activates his gadget, will get 33% supercharge. So not the same exact supercharge charge rate mechanics that we know and love from the station that he drops with this gadget, but still messing around with supercharge rate mechanics here with the gadget, just a flat 33% supercharge rate increase with anyone in the super. I think that is an interesting proposal. So for example, even with all three gadgets, if you're camping in the back of your spawn, you wouldn't be able to get an individual fully charged with their super. It would equate to 99% of your super. So there would be just a sliver. So it wouldn't be abused and you could help out your teammates in a pinch. If someone is really close to their super and it's very detrimental, walk up to them, give them that gadget so they charge up their super and they get off to the races. I really, really enjoy this gadget rework. In my opinion, my favorite out of the three. But then number three, we have Blazing Arrow. The first arrow of Bo's next attack will leave the target with a burn similar to the one from Stu Super. So whereas number three and number two are more mechanical damage dealing stuff that Bo Oh, I guess would make sense to have. I think number two has the most potential when it comes to not necessarily changing up the feel of his character too much, seeing that he still has some sort of supercharged mechanic. Incredible, incredible ideas, and there are so much more out there to sift through that the Brawl Stars dev team are spoiled with the amazing ideas that the Brawl Stars community are constantly generating out there. I would highly recommend you guys go check out some of the stuff out there over on Reddit for yourselves. There are so many incredible ideas and hardworking individuals that aren't getting the spotlight that they deserve when it comes to these types of things, pushing Brawl Stars forward in such a huge way. But of course, with all the discussion revolving around a potential rework coming to the game here in this update, or maybe an update around the corner, I felt like it was an interesting topic to discuss here for a video. Be sure to let me know what you guys are thinking of the ones that we went over here today. And if you have your own, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. I would adore a Brawler rework in this next update. It just feels like a completely new brawler and a fun new approach to the game with a brawler rework. But yeah, everyone, hope you all enjoyed this video here today. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it. I'd really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we will see you all in the next one. Adios, and take care.